All right, Berkeley Reed. Berkeley, what we noticed in the very beginning when you were getting set up, you're starting off to set up just a little bit too wide when you got set up, okay? When you go too wide, several things can happen. One is that your leg drive is going to go too vertical when you snap. You're not going to be able to deliver anything back, okay? Another reason we don't want to get too wide is sometimes when you'll snap and you get wide, you'll end up with your legs straightened out when you finish. We all know that the straight legs are the quickest path to a short career. Right. Somebody comes and lands and blows out your knee, okay? So what we wanted to do was we wanted to move you in, get your feet a little bit closer than they were before. A couple things you can do is you get your knees wide enough. When you get set into your stance, you could just take your elbows, just push your knees out to begin, or you could take your toes, point your toes out so your knees go out over your toes when you finish, and get set up and now you have room to snap, room to get your body through to come through, okay? Now, the other thing that we noticed as you were snapping, what you would tend to do is you were a little bit overextended downfield and your head was dipped down towards the target, okay? When you get like this and your head's dipped, we don't have an aligned spine. So when you travel, what you did a lot of times is you would snap and your legs would go too vertical because your head was pulling you down. And then to compensate, you were just pulling yourself up and jabbing through on the finish. We want to change it to where we align our spine, open you up and give you room to work with. And when you snap, you can drive everything back through your hips, back through your arrow point and go towards the target, okay? So let's get set up real quick. Let's demonstrate this real fast. Three-step at one time, so we can get this all ready to go for you. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna pull you out. This is gonna take your knee bend to 90 or less. It's gonna straighten your back and extend your throwing arm. Second thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna pick you up. It's gonna give you maximum clearance room between your chest and the ground, give you plenty of room to operate. Third thing, put you back into your hips to where your heels are in contact with the ground, way down the balls of our feet. Okay, feel good there. All right, fire one back. Good, good. Now the last thing you could do, you could get a little squishy ball, yeah. you get something set on your chin, so your chin, your chin stays tucked to your chest and you just drive your, everything back when you snap, okay? Let's do one more. Let's get you set up. Okay, that looks good. Make sure we open up, have lots of room to work with. You feel balanced? Yep. How's that feel? Good. Good. Okay, last thing that you do, if you get set up and you see, you see that you have a front end hitch, you're picking the ball up when you're throwing it off, just make sure we imagine that we have the target that's right behind us, right behind our legs. Yeah. So when you go, all you have to do is take your hands directly there from the very beginning when you snap the ball. Right. Okay? Sound good? Yep. All right.